Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to convert from fractions to decimals but using your calculator. So we're going to do uh, four fractions just to show you how to do it. Uh, we're going to use do a quarter. That was quite a nice easy one. You should know that already. It's 0 0.25. But again, I just want to show you how to do it using your calculator. We're going to do two fifths, one third, and two sevenths. Now, of course, uh, you could do it. Remember, the line means divide. Okay, so you could do for a quarter because the line means divide. You could do just the top of the numerator one divided by. Four. Now, whenever you're doing something like that in your calculator, make sure you're doing the numerator one divided by four. I have she seen students doing it the wrong way around, okay, and saying fours, you know, doing four divided by one, but it's one divided by four, which equals 0 0.25. So that's perfectly acceptable, and that's what you could do for all of these. You could do two divided by five, one divided by three, and two divided by seven, and that would convert all of these into decimals perfectly fine. Uh, Another way to do it though is to type this in as a fraction into your calculator. So you could do 1, and that's the fraction button there, fraction button 4. Now depending on what mode you've got your calculator in, okay, I've got mine in uh, lie mode at the minute. If your calculator is in math mode, um, whenever you try to press 1 fraction button, it won't work, okay. What you'd have to do is to press AC, okay, I'll actually show you. So if you've got your calculator in the other mode, I'll just put it into math mode. Um, Whenever you press the one fraction button, it doesn't, oh actually it does work, <laughs> and you can type in the four like that and press equals, okay, and you can see you've got a four, a quarter there. Then what you do is you press the SD button, and then you get 0 0.25. Actually that's quite neat. Okay, so if you've got it in math mode, by pressing shift mode one and one again, you can type it in as a fraction, and it actually looks like a fraction. I normally keep my, frac my calculator just in lie mode though perhaps because I'm old fashioned uh, and whenever I do it I press one fraction button four it looks something like that okay and I press equals it appears there and then I press SD again and it goes to 0 0.25 so that's your answer 0 0.25 so let's do two fifths again you could do it in math mode or in line mode whatever uh, two fraction button five press equals two fifths press the SD button 0.4 so the answer is 0.4 remember you could also do 2 divided by 5 on your calculator that would give you the same answer let's do a third now a third uh, you should know that that's a recurring decimal so it goes 0 0.33333 forever okay let's have a look at what it looks like on a calculator though, these recurring ones 1 fraction button 3 press equals and you've got one third there if you press the SD button you can't quite see it I'm not sure if you can see it on the video but that goes 0 0.3 and it's got a dot above the 3 remember that little tiny dot means recurring so what it actually means is 0 0.33333 forever if you get one of those dots you can press the SD button again and actually does it in full for you okay so it actually comes out as 0 0.333333 so it's actually done it with a dot first of all like that and then if you press the SD button again, it does 0 0.3333 forever, okay? Um, just want to show you, uh, remember in your calculator that if you've got two thirds, two fraction button three, press equals, you get two thirds there. When you press the SD button, it goes 0 0.6 with a dot because it's 0 0.6 forever. But if you press the SD button again, it goes 0 0.66667 on the end. That's because your calculator has to round it to get it to fit into the display. That 7's not really there, it's actually 6 is going on forever, but it's just rounded it. Okay, and finally, uh, 2 sevenths. So 2 fraction button 7, press equals, and you get 2 sevenths. Press the SD button. Now this time it says 0 0.285714. There's a dot above the 2 and a dot above the 4. That means that all of these numbers in between, and including the 2 and the 4, recur. So if I press the SD button again, you'll see it in full. So it goes 0 0.28. 0.285714 then it repeats again 25 or 2857 so that's your answer